What's up, everybody? Dex so crazy back in the building. Just got to the Oxford house, and poor St. Lucie Everglades house. Um, you know, I just got out of treatment. I know I've been going in and out of treatment for the last couple months, but this time it's going to be different. I'm going to be on my timing. I'm going to get me a job. I'm going to keep that job. I'm not going to quit like I quit Wendy's. You know, I'm just trying to do better. My mom just sent me $100, and that's going to go so far because I'm going to stretch it. Um, I got to pay $5 next week, keep my commitment. You got to make commitment. That's what's different about this house. Last Oxford house I was in, you didn't have to pay anything. But, um, yeah, dog, I just got a fucking... Recovery by the sea in Banyan from December all the way to February. And then I went to a halfway house called Primary Purpose Sober House. And they wanted you to go to a meeting every day. They... <coughs> required you to do community service you had to do a whole bunch of stuff and I stopped taking my meds so they kicked me out like no second thought about it I knew I was going to end up coming back to an Oxford house eventually because you know that's one of the best places you can go to you can really get yourself together find yourself a little brotherhood and Keep everything flowing nice and dandy. But, um, yeah, everything's good. The guys are good. There was a little argument in here. Um, I had diarrhea this morning. So fucking bad diarrhea. What happened was I was feeling nauseous the previous night before that. And what I did was take a Tums and that just cleared out my stomach, cleared out everything. And I had super, super bad diarrhea. Like it just completely took all my fluids and I had a headache. I was sweating and shivering. I was fucking nauseous. I had a headache, like it was terrible. And then um, one thing led to another I get to the Oxford house, a guy gave me some Advil, I took the Advil and my headache gone away, my headache has definitely gone away, um, I'm still sweating but I'm not shivering no more, which is good, I felt like I had a fever but I don't know man, I took that Advil and it really, it really helped me bro, I wish they would have gave me an Advil, you know what, when I was at Mandala, that's where I just came from. Um, I did 21 days in there. Uh, I came on the, I think it was the 18th of February. And I just got out today. Which is March 11th. And, yeah bro, that place was really good. I love Mandala. They got Netflix on the TV, YouTube. Man, I was just sitting in there watching TV all day. But now it's time to get me a job, so I gotta get serious. They don't want me sitting in the house, not looking for a job, but I told them I'm not feeling too well, so they're gonna let me slide tomorrow. But hopefully everything goes good. I told them I was gonna look for a job tomorrow, but I think I'm going to take it easy tomorrow. I'm going to take it easy. Fucking. I don't know. I'm in Port St. Lucie. Trying to get me a job at Home Depot. Burger King. Wendy's. Anything. McDonald's. But it doesn't matter, though. They 
they arguing again, bro. I don't know why they arguing, bro. You don't pay your money to kick you out. That's just that's just how halfway works. That's how every fucking place works. You don't pay money to kick you out, bro. But God is good all the time. I'm glad that I fucking made it. This is going to be kind of hard because I don't got my bike. If I had my bike, then I would just... <clears throat> Fuck, man. I think they got some bikes here that you can use, if I'm not mistaken. They're not already owned by somebody. It's only one car here. That's a big problem. How am I supposed to make it to meetings? I'm going to have to get some numbers. This is the first time I'm having to do that. Get some numbers. Get to a meeting. I got to get to five meetings a week. A week. Got to get to five meetings a week. So, that's going to be hard. Tedious. Um, What else is new? I don't have to do any chores yet, which is pretty good. I'm thankful for that. So I can just settle in. I think Wednesday I'm going to go look for a job on my feet. I'm going to do all the applications tomorrow, then I'm going to meet up with them in person. I want to work at fucking Walmart if I could. Walmart might be a really good job for me if I get it. But I've worked at a Walmart twice now, so I don't know if they'll let me come back. I done grew up a lot. I don't I know the difference between a good job and a bad job. Definitely don't want a bad job. A bad job is being a maintenance man. A good job is just being a cashier. It's a lizard trying to eat a beetle. But, um, yeah, man, everything going good through the grace of God. Thank you for watching my video. Chickadees, everybody. <laughs>